you are living somebody else's dream life. And to you, it may seem like that's impossible. But there are actually so many people out there that are in dire situations that will be praying to live the life that you live. Hello YouTube, it's Diani. Thank you for tuning in to another video. This topic just came to me and I can't remember why it came to me, but I was just thinking about something and then it just led me to say that you are living somebody else's dream life. And I went to do research. In 2023, 2.6 billion people do not have access to the internet. And in 2023, 2 billion people, which is 26% of the population, lack safe drinking water. While 3.6 billion people lack access to safely managed sanitation. And it just led me to think that I'm actually living somebody else's dream life. I'm not saying that they would be dreaming to be living my exact life point on point. But there's somebody out there who's praying for better health or praying for their ability to, for example, have access to the internet or have access to clean water or a roof over their head and warmth. There are people out there who are actually praying for the lives that we live, the lives that we take for granted. And... This video isn't a video to try and make you feel down or to try and put each other down, but it's more of a thing of we should actually be thankful and be grateful to God for the blessings that we have because it may seem like something so small. Me waking up every single day inside of London in this house that I live with my family with, the fact that I even have a family and a family which aren't trying to kill, my, kill me every single day, it's a blessing in itself. That alone is a blessing in itself. And it's not to say, oh, cool, that's the blessing, so just be complacent. No, but at least be grateful and be thankful to God about these type of things that we have. Because there are actually people who don't have these, these type of luxuries. This is essentially a luxury. I live in London, but there are still homeless people in London. So it's not to say, okay, my location is the reason for the blessing. Because there are people who are in this location that aren't blessed. It can only be by the grace of God that I have access to all these things. So I come to you again. Somebody is praying for the life that you are living. You are living somebody else's dream life. So that alone in itself should be motivation enough. In it, for, for, it, it should be motivation enough for you. It should be motivation in itself. That alone should be motivation in itself. For you to be thinking that somebody is praying for the life that you are living. At that point, you should just be using it and utilising it and trying to be the best that you possibly can. And I don't want to say that you owe it, but essentially you do. Essentially you owe it to the people who did not get that blessing. Don't, essentially don't live a life of regrets. Because somebody else is dreaming for the life that you have. The life that you have. What would somebody else do with the life that you have? With the opportunities that you potentially may have? And if you think you have no opportunities, opportunities are everywhere where you can go and grab them. So it's a thing of, one, be thankful for the life that you live. Be grateful for the life that you live. But also, two, don't waste it. Don't waste it. Because somebody else would be praying and dreaming for the life that you have. So you should take that in itself and be like, Maybe I should actually do something with my life. Maybe I should actually not just waste my life and just do things that I know I shouldn't be doing. Let me actually try and be a positive impact and potentially try and be the person that can help those people who are praying for my life. Maybe you could be that person. Maybe. Other than that, it's just a reminder. You are living somebody else's dream life. So don't waste it.